So White Diamond finally got revealed and that's cool and all. Don't worry, we're definitely gonna talk about her soon. But my biggest takeaway from Lexi here to Homeworld is White Pearl. God, no. She's not just as creepy as White, she's creepier. There's obviously something not right with her. She's not present. And I think I know why. Let's talk about it today on Crystal Clear. Welcome back to Crystal Clear on the Roundtable. I'm Austrick Vox, and oh my god, can this show get any better? Yeah, yeah, I know. I didn't enjoy Rose being Pink Diamond. I threw a little stink, but honestly, the show has been on fire ever since that episode. It just keeps getting better and better, which makes the inevitable townie crash all the more disappointing. But it's to be expected, and by the time we get there, I think we'll be alright with it. Maybe. Probably not. But White Pearl. White Pearl, White Pearl. What is up with her? The reason why I said in the intro she's a lot more menacing and creepier than White Diamond is the fact that she is a pearl. Yellow and Blue Diamond have been propped up throughout the series to be the best of the best. Yes, we could already surmise White Diamond was leagues above them. Not even a question. It's something we always braced ourselves for. But White Pearl? Let me get this completely 100% straight. A pearl made Yellow and Blue Diamond went. Do a double take. Blue Diamond alert yellow diamond. Yellow, that's White's Pearl. They were intimidated by a pearl. And I mean, it's not like she's an average run of the mill pearl. No. Her gemstone is on her navel, completely intact, yet she has facial scarring. She's missing an eye. Yeah, she has a Princess Leia buns, but it's just creepy. As for why the scars are there, guys, let's put two and two together. When Steven, the Crystal Gems, and the Diamonds got to Homeworld, it was absolutely Rex. And from Blue and Yellow's dialogue, that was from White Diamond. So when you see a pearl permanently scarred, because I don't think gems can actually have scars, yes, their physical form begins to glitch out of malfunction when the gemstone is cracked, but again, White Pearl's gemstone, it's completely fine. That means White Diamond has the capability to physically and permanently scar another gem. To scar a light projection. A light projection. That, by all accounts, should not be possible. But the creepiness doesn't stop there. White Pearl has no regard for yellow or blue. She just comes and scoops up Pink Diamond, saying only Pink Diamond's presence is necessary. Just absolute disrespect. And yellow and blue don't bat an eye. Not to mention the way she moves is rather unorthodox. It's like she's on rails. She doesn't walk or fly like other gems. Not to mention the mere sight of her pod silenced the entirety of Homeworld who was welcoming back Pink Diamond. What had to be a momentous occasion for Homeworld was silenced like that. That alone sends a message. And to top it all off, White Pearl is in voice by Dee Dee Magna Hall, and like our Pearl, Yellow Pearl, Blue Pearl, assumably any other Pearl, just like how all gems of the same cut have the same voice actress. Well, from her behavior all the way to her voice, I believe there's reason to all of this. We previously speculated White Diamond has mind control powers. Whereas Yellow Diamond is just the physical form, Blue Diamond in the emotional state, White Diamond affects the mental state. She affects their mind. She's the final known the coffin for corruption. We've talked about this before. And as we speculated, she's what's needed to fully undo corruption. The other three diamonds cannot do it on their own. All right, let's say White Diamond has mind powers. Let's say she can control other gems of her mind. Why would she need to control her pearl? After all, it's her pearl. She should just be obedient no matter what, right? Well, wrong. The reason why White Diamond would have to mind control her pearl is because her pearl, what they refer to as White Pearl, wasn't actually the original White Pearl. White Pearl is the original Pink Pearl. Our Pearl is the original White Pearl. I think it's also important to mention that Pearl, our Pearl, was the first one to really speak up about White Diamond. Sure, Yellow Diamond name dropped, but Pearl was the one who said, Steven, White Diamond isn't like the other gems. She's not like us. She's not even like them, referring to yellow and blue diamond. Why does it appear as if Arpro has such extensive knowledge of white diamond if she didn't serve her? Because if white diamond is someone who isolates herself, who doesn't like to be disturbed, what sense would it make for a different diamond's pearl, one who never even mentioned white diamond, to retain quite a bit of information on it? Well, again, let's refer into timeline theory. In the Steve Universe art book, we get a snippet of the chart of power, a timeline of every character's major arcs in the series. One of the only few things we can make out on that timeline are the words, 
a new, more sensible Pearl is custom delivered to Pink. This lines up with the episode Now We're Only Falling Apart, where Pearl states she was given to Pink Diamond before Pink Diamond was given the Earth. And given the context and end of the episode, Pink Diamond did have a life prior to the Earth colony, as Steven is transported to what assumably is her room at the end of the episode. But why would there be a trade-off? Why would our Pearl be given to Pink Diamond? And why would Pink Diamond's old Pearl be given to Pink? Well, the personalities of Gems reflect a lot of them. Pink Diamond was kind of ratty in her early life, so I assume her Pearl didn't do her any favors either. It was likely hard to get things done. Meanwhile, our Pearl, you know, the one with a forehead gem, as White Diamond also has a forehead gem, although not visible in this episode, it is confirmed to exist. Rebecca Sugar signed various San Diego Comic Con posters with an illustration of White Diamond gemstone present, while the White Pearl we see in Lexi the Homeworld has a navel gem, just like Pink Diamond. Considering how creepy and happy go lucky and just emotionally distant White Diamond is, why would a single pearl matter to her? Another diamond wants to trade, go ahead. And thus, our pearl was given to Pink Diamond. And we saw our pearl try to help Pink Diamond, better educate her, gave her great ideas, things I think a proper Pink Pearl couldn't do. So while it worked out for our pearl and Pink Diamond, although not really because Pearl is now emotional wreck in present day, don't worry, she's hanging in there, she's recovering. Pink Pearl, still having that influence and personality of Pink Diamond, would probably be rather impulsive, kind of childish and selfish. White Diamond has no time for that. And judging by the fact that, again, White Pearl is missing an eye, something that seems rather permanent, I think White Diamond showed her what for. But to ensure obedience, what does she do? Utilizes her mind control powers. It ensures her new Pearl never acts out again. But you may be wondering, all right, I can buy that Pearl was given to Pink Diamond from White Diamond, but look at the theoretical Pink Pearl, White Pearl. She's, well, white, not an ounce of color in her. Well, we haven't exactly seen the side effects of White Diamond Mind Control. Who's to say a side effect of it wouldn't be for a gem to completely lose her color? Losing all hue and becoming completely white, grayscale. Deprived of both color and personality. And this is why White Pearl has White Diamond's voice. Why they're both voiced by Christine Ebersole. Because when you're under the control and influence of White Diamond, you also channel her voice. White Pearl's a puppet and White Diamond is pulling the strings. And should White Pearl be broken of this mind control, perhaps her color will return to her, donning her original pink hue. She needs to be saved. This is someone being abused. Someone who has no control of her own actions. Steven, it's time to work your magic. But as always, these are just my thoughts and I'd love to hear yours. What do you think? Could White Pearl be mind controlled? Is she really Pink Pearl? I believe so. You guys know deep down, this is the case. I'm a pull of rose quartz, don't question anything. Just take my word for it, trust me. And if it doesn't happen in the show, then that just means they, they re rewrote it, I don't, I don't know. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below or to me at the box box or at the Roundtable on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at RoundtableVids. I'm not crazy. If you want to help the Roundtable Girl support us on Patreon, I'm not crazy. Get access to exclusive perks and have your name featured at the end of the video like all these beautiful, wonderful people who don't think I'm crazy. Link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share, and if you're new here, subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications and stay in the loop with all things Steven. Thank you for watching and I hope you have an awesome day. Ostrich Vox, out. I'm not crazy. <laughs>